Three, two, one. Oh God, it's moving. Yeah? I don't know. Oh, now it isn't anymore. Yeah, she's locked in. Legs up. <laughs> hey guys, Jack here. If you've seen my channel before, you know that health and fitness is a journey. In fact, I've been on my health and fitness journey for over 17, 18 years now. And this year in particular, I'm really focusing on my pull-ups. I want my pull-ups to get to at least a, a reasonable level. And I'm pretty lucky that I have a full squat rack gym set up with a pull-up bar attached to it so that I can do pull-ups at home. But not everybody can do that. And if you're out there looking for options where you can do some pull-ups, there's like a bazillion different types of pull-up bars that you can choose from. Well. I'm in a pretty favorable position where the guys over at Evolve Over reached out to me knowing that I'm working on my pull-ups and sent me this gravity tightening pull-up bar to try out to, uh, to, to see what it's all about and to see if it would help me with my health and fitness as well. So I'm really excited to open her up and uh, see what she can do. All right, nice. That's probably important. Okay, you got a little styrofoam on her, but that's okay. First impressions, uh, I gotta say she is uh, she's pretty heavy. <laughs> she's like a little heavier than I was expecting her to be. Uh, but cool, like it looks awesome, it looks pretty solid and pretty sturdy. So let's, uh, yeah, let's actually weigh this thing, see what it, see what it weighs. 2.4 kilos, so we're looking at about five pounds. Uh, pretty solid stuff. Next thing, uh, these handlebars look like, uh, not handlebars, these hand grips, looks like they can come off, which is nice. Uh, and they're totally adjustable, which is always good. Let's actually use this thing. So we gotta find somewhere that is structurally stable where we can set this up. If uh, this thing apparently works on anti-gravity technology, so when you pull down on this, these things push out and into the wall and uh, will keep you sturdy and prevent it from falling down, which is how the technology works. So you gotta make sure that you have a wall that's gonna be able to support all of the forces coming down. So I found a good spot. These walls are pretty solid. They're not going anywhere. Next thing I wanna do is see how long it's gonna take to actually set things up for the first time. So I'm gonna get my stopwatch on and uh, here we go. Right, I'm going to clamp here. Slow and steady. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be too, uh, too wide of a door frame. As it goes from 28 to 36 inches, I believe. Probably should have measured this out first. <laughs> All right, now we're getting closer. Oh, I think we're going the wrong way again. <laughs> we're so close. Right, so pull it that way. Right, so we're going to crank this until she's tightened up. Oh. Whoa. All right, I think that's about as far as she goes. Let's uh, hook her back in. How do you hook this thing? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Hey, we lost something. This thing fell off as I was putting it together. I was put her back on. <laughs> I probably should have read this thing first. All right, I think we got her now. Yeah. So that took about nine and a half, ten minutes to set up from beginning to end. She's all set up. Now let's see what she can hold. Laundry machine. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> she works. Can I go? Yeah. Whoa, it feels so strong. Nice. All right, now the question is, can both of us do it? Are you sure this is supposed to be working? Because it's here. Yeah, it's supposed to hold up to 200 kilos. Oh. If we can do this first, let's see if we can both hold it at the same time. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh God, it's moving. Yeah? I don't know. Oh, now it isn't anymore. Yeah, she's locked in. Legs up. <laughs> and three, two, one. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Yeah, she's solid. One more try. Hold on. Get the shoulder. Get the shoulder out. All right, you ready? Try one more. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoop! What is that? That was something behind you. Oh. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> yeah, it was this thing. Focus. All right, one more time. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> nice. Whoa. All right. Let's see how long it's going to take to uh, take this thing apart. All right, here we go. Clip. Clip. And this way. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. 
And uh, yeah, that took all the 15 seconds. Now, the most important thing, let's see how the walls look after using this. Put it right around here somewhere and it looks totally fine. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, otherwise the landlord would have killed us. Look at that, perfect. No damage whatsoever. This isn't from us. Yeah, that's not us, yeah. <laughs> that was somebody else, that was some other pull-up bar. Yeah. All right, sweet. So easy to take down and uh, no damage on the walls. No paint damage either. All right, let's try setting this up in another door frame. Let's do some different exercises this time and see how fast it takes to, to set it up. All right, so a little smaller. Oop. Yeah, we lost this thing again. Yeah, so this thing keeps falling off. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal, so to speak, because like it's just a nut and a screw. Like those things are, they're bound to fall off and whatnot, but it's just a little annoying. Almost. Let's see how long it takes to uh, reposition this thing. All right, repositioning took one minute and about a minute, basically. Now, let's stand on this thing and see, uh, see if she can support it. All right, <laughs> I'm terrified. Ta-da! Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, she's pretty sturdy. Let's see what the paint looks like when I take this off. All right, yeah, she looks a little good on this side. No yeah. more? No, that black one's not us. These little guys are, they come off super quick. How about over here? Yeah, look at that, she's off. We're looking totally good. There's a tiny, tiny little dirt mark there, but that could have been <laughs> dust from our hallway. Uh, and she's totally clean, no paint damage, looking pretty good. So we've tested her out, Evolve, over, Evolve Overs Gravity Tightening Pull-Up Bar. They call it the safest pull-up bar in the world. And uh, I gotta say, I, I kinda gotta agree. Uh, it felt very, very sturdy up on all of the door frames that I put it on. It held not only myself, and I'm a pretty big guy at 83.2 kilograms, uh, but it also held me and my girlfriend at the same time, which we're looking at well over 300 pounds. Uh, so pretty solid, pretty sturdy. Uh, I like that it is ready to go out of the box. You don't need any screws or you don't need anything really to, to put it together. You just grab it, you set it up, and you go. Uh, it's, it's strong, it's hefty, it's heavy. Uh, I, I like that. It feels like it's gonna, gonna last a long time. Uh, as far as setting it up goes, took a little bit less than 10 minutes to set it up the first time. It took about five minutes to set it up the second time, so I got better as I figured out how to do it. Uh, and as far as dismantling it goes, it took all of 15 seconds to loosen her up and pull her off the wall. Uh, I gotta say I'm pretty pleased with the, the wall and the shape of the wall after I took it off as well. Because these things work by pushing outwards and, and driving force into the door frame, I was uh, a little bit worried that there was gonna be some paint damage on these old walls that I live in. But no, the, the walls looked absolutely fine afterwards. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I gotta say it's a pretty awesome piece of equipment. Uh, I'm really excited to use it. And uh, I'm actually really excited to use it because with this pull-up bar that I have here, one of the issues that I have when I do my pull-ups is that I'm too tall for it. Uh, when I'm just normally standing, like I can't extend my arms all the way, which means that I can't really get a full range of motion with my legs out and forward. Uh, with this thing, I'll be able to put it into the door frame. I'll be able to set it up really high and I'll be able to do my pull-ups with full range of motion moving forward. And on top of that, I'll also be able to travel with this thing. I can very easily see strapping this onto the side of a backpack or throwing it into your suitcase as you travel. So uh, yeah, evolve over. Kathleen, uh, the lady who I talked to to uh, set this whole thing up, thank you very much. I I'm genuinely thrilled with the product and I'm really excited to continue using it moving forward. And if uh, you're considering buying this piece of equipment, I actually have a, a discount code at the in the description of my video, courtesy of Evolve Over, where you get 10% discount. So check out the description below and uh, be sure to click the link. It is an affiliate link, I will get a commission for it, full transparency there. But more importantly, you guys will go to 10% discount and uh, I do highly, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye for now.